Guys, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. Look, on today's show, we got a special one for you, but first, let me set it up. About a month or two back, I had commented on a, a video, you know, just like you, uh, us creators, you know, we're fans of other shows, you know, we watch other shows, uh, we support other shows, and I uh, did a comment on one of the shows by the uh, Wall Twins, okay? If you don't know the Wall Twins, I'll put Twins, I'll put some links down below. I'll also run some footage uh, on their channel. They're basically Blackstone Wizards, and uh, if you got a flat top or you want to learn anything about a flat top or cooking, man, these guys are fun. You know, they, they just shows a lot of energy. Uh, so I'm definitely big fans of theirs. And I also found out my daughter's also big fans of theirs, okay? And so I was watching one of their uh, episodes, I forget which one, and I made a comment on the uh, show that they should check out the Amali Burger. And uh, hey, they did. They uh, did a little research on it, and they actually did a, a copycat Molly cook on their channel. That I'm telling you, man, they just killed it. Again, link down below. You're definitely going to want to check out that cook. You know, and from there, I think they popped on over to my channel, and they seen I did a, a cook, a, a chicken cord on blue. I did it on the uh, flat top. They loved it. I believe they sent me an email. I sent them an email back. They wanted to do the chicken cord on blue. I wanted to do something oh, of theirs, and the collab was collab. born. Oh, yeah. everybody so look let's do a little uh, house cleaning up first here if you like what you see definitely want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't so you don't miss any of my uh, future uploads and look while my uh oh yeah black stone is coming up to temp let's roll some footage smash burger we've made many on the black stone but not like this. We've been introduced to what is called the Molly Smash Burger by Tommy of the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. If you want to see our take on this delicious Smash Burger, then stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. This is that, my brother. Oh my gosh, some paper towel me? Oh my word. It is hot. <coughs> oh, mm. Mm. let all those flavors marry. So look, I'm going to copycat one of the cooks they did. They did a, uh, a patty melt on their channel. I'm going to do the uh, classic patty melt, but I'm also going to do a molly melt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody. Look, this is going to be a... Uh, this is going to be a long one. Sit back, relax, grab your favorite beverage. But I feel most that's put in here needs to stay in here. First off, I got a, I believe that's a white onion. And I'm doing a little bit thicker of a cut at about a quarter inch. And here we got our ground beef. That is 80, 20. And look, what you want to do here is ball them up. And you want to shape them out like a... Uh, well, like a chopped steak or like the uh, shape of your rye bread, okay? So you don't want a round patty because you're going to be putting it on an oval slice of bread. And we are going with uh, some kosher salt, black pepper. Oh, yeah. And look, I am going to molly one of them up. That is a uh, brown sugar. And look, if you've never had a molly burger, it's not over sweet like you may think it is. But I'll tell you, man, it puts the flavor on and does something to this patty. This is a must try, that's for sure. 
already looked. So just a couple things to uh, keep in mind here, right? You definitely want to work with a, uh, a cooler griddle top, unlike a, a smash burger when you go five and a quarter, 550, even 600 Fahrenheit, because you're going to smash it down maybe a minute, minute and a half, flip it, you're going to get that good crust. But on today's cook, we're going to do more of a low and slow, right? To caramelize the uh, onions, you need it about 350, 400. You want to bring it up slow. You want to get that butter going. You want to get those onions releasing all those oils out. And the same thing with the uh, burgers, right? If you're too hot, because you're, you're going to go for, you're cooking to temp, right? So medium rare, uh, medium, however you like it, it's going to be maybe a five minute flip, you know, three, four minutes and you're, and you're done. If you're too hot, you're going to burn the burger. Uh, even when you do the, uh, the bread, you're going to burn the bread, right? So just keep that in mind, 350, maybe 400, but definitely keep an eye on everything cooking. And now look, I'm going to adjust my, uh, we got a four burner Blackstone, right? I'm going to keep my uh, two on the left side, probably uh, low to medium, right? Again, because I'm going to watch it with this and I'm going to look for that 400 Fahrenheit. The two on the right, I'm just going to keep off. Don't forget, you got one piece of steel. So you may be 450 here, 450 here, even though the uh, other two burners are off. You're going to go four and a quarter, maybe 375, 300 to 200 and so forth. So it's still going to be warm. Oh, yeah. So look, anytime I fire up the uh, black stone or any flat top, I always like to hit it with some oil, basically, especially if the grill's been sitting for uh, you know, a week, couple weeks, whatever. Even if I just used it yesterday, I hit it with some fresh oil, put a nice coat. It helps to season the grill and also gives you a nice clean surface. Now look, we're starting off slow here. The uh, pit is at about 340 uh, Fahrenheit. We're gonna get the onions down and we'll get some oil on there and get that uh, steam working. Guys, look, remember here, you wanna sweat those onions. You want those onions to caramelize, right? So. You're not doing a fried onion like you would do on a steak. You want to bring them up slow. You want to hit it with a little butter. You want to release those oils and you want those onions just kind of be like wilted. Oh, yeah. So look, you want to keep those onions moving. You don't want to brown them for say like I have there. I mean, it's okay, but look, you're not doing a fried onion. You're doing more of a uh, kind of like a wilted type onion, like I said. What you want to do here is get some butter down. And that'll help in uh, kind of like steaming the onions. You can close the uh, hood or put a cover on them for about maybe 30, 40 seconds. And that'll also help with the uh, caramelization. So look, about three minutes with the uh, onions, and we'll get those uh, pushed off to the uh, side there where they will, uh, remember, we're still a little bit warm over there, probably about 300 uh, Fahrenheit on the uh, flat top. So they'll stay, uh, they'll stay nice and warm, and we'll get our molly down, and we'll also get our uh, other patty melt down. You can see those onions putting the steam out again. We're starting slow on the uh, burgers, and that's pretty much what you want. You don't want to go too hot and fast because you will burn them, especially that brown sugar on that molly. This is not a smash burger. We're going to cook these to temperature, hopefully about a medium to medium or rare. See, we're moving now. So look, what I want to do here is I don't want to leave that uh, brown sugar too long on the uh, flat top because I don't want to burn it. So I'm going to give that a uh, an early flip. And I'll 
tell you, if you've never had a, a Molly smash, a brown, a sugar infused, a smash burger, you definitely want to give that a, a try. See that brown sugar just kind of doing its thing there. We'll get the other one flipped over. And so far we got about three minutes or so on this uh, burger cook. And that temperature on that uh, flat top right now is about 400, 410. I believe that's as hot as I let it get. Right, we're just about uh, probably about 85% done on those burgers. We'll get our buttered rye bread down. And remember, you're making kind of like a, a grilled cheese here, right? Again, that's why you don't want to be too hot because you don't want to burn that bread. That bur bread will burn fast if you're up and over 500 Fahrenheit. We're gonna go with some uh, Munster. We got some Swiss and we got some American. get these burgers moved over into that cooler zone I'll clear out some of that grease and I'll get those uh, I'll get those bread as slices moved over into the uh, hot zone we'll do about 30 45 seconds or so on the uh, hood close and uh, that's uh, pretty good And from there, what you want to do is get your burger patties on and then get some onions on those birdie burger patties. Remember, you've got to keep an eye on that rye bread. You do not want to burn it. The uh, trick to these uh, patty melts is getting a little bit of a smash down and releasing some of those juices and just getting those burgers just uh, steam cooked out, man. It does the trick. Oh, yeah. And now if you think you're letting those juices out, just stay tuned and you'll see plenty, plenty of juice in these uh, burgers. So look, I'm getting ready to uh, take this in live, and I want to thank uh, Adam and Brett for uh, cooking with me today on this uh, collab. This was a uh, this was a lot of fun, and I have to tell you, man, I don't know if I've ever had a patty melt before, and these are some of the best burgers that I've uh, that I've had, or at least I've had in a long time. I mean, they even rival the uh, Smash Burgers. I mean, these suckers were juicy as juicy can be. So this whole experience has been a lot of fun. Go show them some love. The Wall Twins, a lot of energy, great show, good people. And we will uh, check this out live. All right, guys, look, man, this cook is moving fast. I got Molly right here at my feet. I want to get these puppies off, get them on the board, and let's see what we got. <laughs>
I'll tell you what, man, I think we definitely nailed this. Let's let these just sit up, let those juices kind of settle, and then we'll pick it back up and we'll get a, a slice. It, I can no longer wait. A couple minutes rest, a couple snaps for the thumb, and uh, cleaned up the old Blackstone real quick. You know, the Blackstone one, two, three. So let's cut these open. And the juice is just running on the board. So I'm thinking I definitely nailed the uh, temperature. I like it like a medium rare or so. so. Oh, yeah. Molly will get that. Not sure which one this is, but uh, definitely a big cheers. Juicy as juicy can be. Wow, man, that is so juicy, so good, man. That is the regular patty melt. And I do believe this one here is the Amali Melt. I need the juice. Oh man, oh man. Oh, this one's falling. I mean, cheers, man. cheese, uh, the juicy, the cheese. This is the uh, Molly melt. I mean, this one's uh, too close to call. I mean, these are almost better than a smash burger. I don't think I've ever had a patty melt before, and I certainly have never had a Molly melt. All right, guys, look, that is it for this one. I want to thank Adam and Brett, the other one for uh, cooking with me today, man. This was an awesome cook. I feel a friendship has been formed. Again, Wall Twins, my viewers, check them out. Wizards on the Blackstone, and maybe they'll be uh, bouncing in some other types of cooks down the road. And that is it, man. I am gonna roll my Patreons over here. I'm gonna drop a couple more cooks over there, man. This is something, Patty Melt, Molly Melt, you gotta do it because, man, the juices are definitely flowing. And until next time, we will see you soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs>